never going to like holiness. It's never going to like holiness. There's not going to be a, a, be a morning you wake up and your flesh says, let's pray. Mm. <laughs> it ain't happening. Huh? There's not going to be a morning your flesh says, Let, let's live holy all day long. It's not going to, it's not going to agree with you. Okay? There's not going to be a morning day that you, your flesh says, let's not talk about anyone today. Hmm. Somebody walk down the street, yeah, oh, look at that. What are they doing? <laughs> the flesh starts out, you know? You know, and, and, and we as a body of Christ, we got to know that, understand that. Because I'm just being real. I'm just being constructive. I'm just trying to be open and trying to let you know. Flesh is, is in total enmity and resentment against God. Yes. So God bypasses flesh. He bypasses your mind because your mind is like, is like a cesspool. Amen? For all kinds of garbage that you that you collected over the years, and yeah, you can be you can be young as Carlton, but in Carlton's young years, he's collected some flesh. Got very close, sixteen whatever years, he's collected it, huh? And you know, sometimes if you ever see the what you collected of garbage, you get indigestion. You know. You can't use it. It's just the garbage in your mind coming up in your, in your dreams, your imaginations, your personality sometimes. Hello. Well. well. <laughs> you know, you said, you know, that's why I think that we always say that word. Please forgive me. God is not done with me yet. You know, we always say that the people when we when it's really the flesh that's living, that's rising up on the inside of us. You know, I didn't mean it. I apologize. I'm sorry in that. You know, and that's what the Holy Spirit has to live in. Hmm? Goodness, God says I'm not. I'm not going to step past. I, I said, I am going to step past all that junk and I'm going to get right down in your spirit and change you in your spirit. He didn't say change you in your flesh. He's going to change you in your spirit. Yes. Amen? And then start, start to, he's going to start the job, start to, and, and re, replunging and recalibrating your mind and your thoughts. Out of this, that cesspool, God's going to have to work with that just to get you right and transfer you by the renewing of your mind that ye may be proved what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And are we in the word when we say that, you know, God has to transform us by the renewing of our mind? That is what he's saying. He has to transform our spirit on the inside of us. Amen? Amen. And you know what? And people have to say, be careful what you say of me. I'm an heir of salvation. Can you see? God is not done with me yet. Yeah, he is not done with you. <laughs> you know, if you think you're good, you think you're perfect, excuse me. You know that scripture says, so the, the spirit of man is a candlestick, it says. And, then, and, 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 and what happens is in Romans, Eight, and that it says it really brings you to the root of what's happening in the saved person's life. And, and, and that is in, that what you really can't see what is important sometimes. Because what you can see is more important than what you can't see. Amen? And in fact, we almost have lied down through the years about what happens when people get saved. We've almost lied down all through the years because salvation is not something that you can see. You can't look at me and say whether I'm saved or I'm not. No way. No way in the world can you look at me and say that if you don't know who I am. I can't dress holy as a, as a priest and have clothes covered up and just have my eyes to look out and, and, and have a mask like Batman to see and, 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 the, and be the worst devil in the world. Hmm? 
never saw, you know? And sometimes, guess what? You can even see them in church, amen? And you, it's hard to, to distinguish what, what, is, what is trying to, trying to battle with the flesh and with his spirit, trying to battle against it, and someone that's just sitting there thinking I'm holier than thou. Mm -hmm. You know? Praise God. <laughs> Glory to God. You know, I, and you, you can tell a spirit by the spirit, you know what I mean? I come up in and went to church, and, 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 and I go to all the different, different denominations. I went to a Jesus name only church, and pastor said, how you doing, pastor? I'm like, he said, I want you to come up here and sit with me in the pulpit. And there was a lady that was on his ministry. She was sitting up there. He told her, hey, you got to move. Go on down there. Let Pastor Jerry sit in the seat. She went on down. <laughs> Sat down, crossed her legs. No humility. I said, you know what, Pastor, you want her? Said, no. I'm glad you came up here. You know, great <laughs> being. See, salvation is not something you can see on the outside, but it's an inward issue. Amen. We 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 used to sing them songs. I looked at my hands and my hands looked new. Remember that? I looked at my feet and my feet did too. You know what I mean? Huh? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. And all that stuff. And that was, you know, sometimes was just a big lie. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? You can get saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, and be got the power of God and have and look at and have a big old bunion on your toe. <laughs> and after you get done being saved, after you get done slain in the spirit, after you get done, someone helps you up and you're going back to your seat. You, oh, that big bunion is still there. <laughs> it's still there. Huh? On that big ugly toe, you know? I got a corn. It's still there. Am I right about it? Amen. If, you, if you, you, you had a bunion before you got saved, guess what? If you stay on your feet long enough, you're going to feel that big bunion hurting again and again. Am I right? Because your flesh has not changed at all. You're changing your spirit. Not in your flesh. It's in your spirit. And if you like chocolate chip cookies before you got saved? Huh? Guess what? You, I think, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to like chocolate chip cookies after you get saved. You know? They may make that belly stick out and Lord, if you don't go to, you know, you know, my my mother-in-law coming to my house and live with me for, for a couple weeks has really hurt me. Because see, I was off from work and everything else and and, I, and 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 my wife, my wife always cooked, but then it was my week. I was cooking up storm. Every time you turn around, I had something cooking up, and I and I go, Lord, today I gotta quit cooking. I gotta quit feeding my mouth and start feeding my spirit. Amen. <laughs> see, see, you, there's some things you can control on the outside, and and, and you don't say, I'm not gonna eat that. I'm not gonna eat that. I'm gonna resist that. I'm going to avoid that, but it was in there all the time that I want to. Amen? And it's something you, it's something you get a habit of, you always want it. Am I right? So it's not that easy to get rid of. Someone say you get slain in the spirit. And I, was, I grew up in the church, in the church of God and that, and, and, and they lay hands on me, and they, they follow me around as a little boy screaming at me, you're anointed, you're not that preacher, you're not that, and I'm going, ah! Morning. Ah, they're touching me, and I run over there, and you know, I'm like, there I run from one end to another, and they lay hands on me and lay on me, and, oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh, I said, oh Jesus, help these people get off me. You know what I mean? Classic. They're trying to, they're trying to, trying to beat it in on the outside. <laughs> you ain't getting it in on the outside. Come on now. I can't get you saved and tell you. I can't say only thing I can tell you by your spirit that you want to live with Christ after life and you want to live with Christ everlasting. You don't want to live at where 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 God has has placed a place just for Satan himself. 
He wants Satan down in hell. But let me tell you something. People don't understand. Satan.